What up guys, it's Chris and I am here to do a sketchbook tour of the sketchbook that I had of most of 2016. I got it for my birthday from a friend and I finished it um, a couple of days after 2017 started. So let's dive into this masterful piece of shit. Okay, here it is. The binding obviously broke and I uh, fixed it. But uh, let us begin. I always do a Copic Prisma chart in the beginning of all my sketchbooks. That way I just have a reference to go back on. And I always do a, a table of contents just so I know for myself in the future if I look for stuff what all is in um, said sketchbook. Right off the bat we have my sunshine child Cole from Dragon Age. Um, I actually redid this one digitally. It did not come out as pretty and pastel as this. It in fact came out quite a quite a dark. But yeah. Uh, this is an OC of mine. All my OCs happen to be the same height as me for some fucking reason. But yeah. But um, I wanted to try the pastel goth look, so he was born. Uh, I drew this for my birthday um, because I've changed a lot from when I was little to now, mostly in like gender and whatnot and views. Um, this was a rough sketch for a different drawing I wanted to do. Um, and this was the final product. I don't know what made me want to draw her without clothes on. I think it just made it a lot more deep. I don't know. I was on a plane with my brother and he kept looking at my sketchbook so I just wrote that and offended him I, I guess. Um, this was a rough sketch for something for Steven Universe. Everybody knows the iconic scene that just broke everybody's heart. Um, but this was the final draft and um, I'm really proud of it. Uh, this one is okay. It's whatever. I really love Sotsky and her dynamic. Um, she was just a really interesting character from beginning to finish. And to be able to see her changes was, was really great in a character. She had a lot of great character development. Um, this is my selfie guide. <laughs> Um, one of my friends would not take a good selfie for the life of her, so I decided, hey, I'll draw you a diagram on how I take my selfies, and this is how it came out. Um, this is my concept for Human Peridot. Um, I had drawn her originally in a different sketchbook, but I could not find the sketch for the life of me, so I just redid it. Um, but this is pretty close to the basics. It's like, she's like a college student and she works in like the robotics program and uh, she has prosthetics and um, I don't know I just really like the idea and I really like drawing robotic arms and legs and shit even though I'm not really good at it and here was like all the blueprints for it um, like I just wanted it to be as in-depth as possible but these is only for her arms. I have not done the ones for her legs yet because I needed to figure out how legs worked. <laughs> like how bones connected to the hip joints and whatnot. And just in general how everything works within a leg. And I just really like drawing bones. As cryptic as that is. Um... I drew this just because I really love Peridot and I, I don't know, like the episode where um, they went to the 
the carnival place just it was just really sweet and I really enjoyed it uh, I like to draw myself a lot I do not own this outfit but I wish I owned this outfit I don't remember why I drew this I think I just really wanted to draw hands and then I got carried away but doesn't everybody don't remember why I drew this. I wanted to draw hair, but I don't like the way it came out. Um, I love Super Jail, and I haven't drawn anything for it in a really long time. This was just like a sketch that I did in like four seconds. Um, this is for a story I'm writing. These are all my OCs. Um, and they're separate story arcs. Uh, this is the main story though, but um, I'm working on this one right now uh, And if you want to read that I will leave a link to it in the description for whatever reason you want to read it uh, Base sketch for this um, I love Inuyasha. It is my favorite anime. It was my first anime and I can confidently say it is my favorite um, Shishomaru is my favorite character, and his relationship with Kagura was my favorite. And it made me really sad when she, um, spoiler alert, died. Um, this is, this is actually a cosplay picture, um, that me and my friend did, and I just loved it a whole lot, so I drew it. And like it came out really good like shit that's like tattoo worthy I mean I'm not gonna get a tattoo of it but you know I love it um Isaiah and Nami have my favorite like they're like my favorite character duo in anime just because just something about it I don't know what it is but it's beautiful and um, I really wanted to practice more posing, and I just figured a pose like this would be perfect for these two. Um, this is for that story that I'm writing currently about the boy. He has cancer. Because I'm dark like that, and I wanted to draw it, but yeah. Um, started drawing something, didn't like how it was coming out, so I stopped. You know, like how anyone does. Um, I drew my cousin because I just really liked her bathing suit that she was wearing and her hair and like, I don't know, she's just really pretty and she's really cute so I wanted to draw her, um, not in a weird way. Um, this is from that same story, the first time he experienced snow in a different country other than his own. Um, Kagome, because everybody loves this child. Um. I think everybody's first waifu. But yeah. Marshall Lee and Gumball. Mm. I love them. I drew Marceline and Bubblegum at one point, wherever that picture is. Another picture of Isaiah because he is my trash king and I love him so much. Um, and I wanted to practice more poses and I was trying out a different art style that I liked but could not for the life of me do over. Um, Cat Noir, I was in the airport waiting to go home. My flight got delayed so I just sat there and doodled and as I started on a ladybug one my flight came so I got to leave. This is really old. This is like 2010 and I wanted to do a redraw and so I did. It was it was a OC for Toga Inu no Chi. If you know what that is, good on you. We can be friends because it's a great anime and a great game. Oh, uh, blank page because I got stuff on it. Um, for Spider Man, I I just like to hurt myself. And everyone, if anyone knows me, you know that the part where Gwen died is actually the saddest thing to me. Like, I cry every time I watch it, and I've seen it at least 50 times. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck this is. I'm not gonna lie. Um, this episode 
really made, meant a lot to me as I'm sure it did for many people. It just, it really made me think and it was just really emotional and I feel like it reached out to a lot of people and I really like that in this episode. This is an old OC that I decided to redraw. Um, he's like, Oh, he was like, he's like a freak experiment thing that was sold to science. Like, he was like a child and he was sold to science. And I don't know. It was just, it's, he's, it's an interesting concept that I have nothing to do with. I was trying to draw something other than people. Trying to be inspirational for no reason. Base, because I wanted to draw Sophie and Howl from Howl's Moving Castle, but I could not for the life of me figure out how to draw this pose. So I gave up. That is a shipping chart for Hitalia. <laughs> um, I had a dream about Peter Parker, Squirrel Girl, and Wade Wilson for some reason. Um, in the dream, Peter was like handicapped, but when he got the powers of Spider-Man, he could walk again, but he had to pretend he couldn't because obviously you can't just show up to school walking when you couldn't before. It was interesting. Um, these are all like little tattoo designs that I want. Um, this one is the one that I plan to get pretty soon uh, for Spider-Man because Sp Spider-Man is obviously my favorite movie. Spider-Man is my favorite thing, period. Um, this is a lyrics comic that I'm making for... Uh, Miraculous Ladybug um, for the song Jaded by Aerosmith but um, it's not done. Um, this is one of my favorite works in this sketchbook um, for Miraculous Ladybug obviously and um, I worked really hard on it and I made it digital eventually um, I don't think it looks as good digital just because I'm really bad at coloring, but um, I don't know, it came out good as a sketch. So yeah. Car Cat Y. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> That's my uh, piece of shit cat, everybody. Um, I didn't really like the way this started coming out, so I just kind of stopped drawing it. But uh, yeah. Love, welcome to Night Vale. Cecil is my husband. Um, this was when I was going to AWA and I drew my lineup. I cosplayed Haru, uh, Tamara from Bitch Club. If you don't know what that is, that's probably for the best. Don't look it up. Shishomaru, Pearl, uh, Metaton. I did that for the contest. And Peter Parker. And if you look at my AWA blog, you can see all that. I drew all my cats as humans, and I drew my friends and dogs and cats as humans as well. This is Car Cat. You see him? I think, I think it's good. This is my cat, Nero. He's an asshole. Um, this is my other cat, Mello. Um, this is my friend's cat, Holly. She talks a lot, and so does Nero, so I figured they could be friends. And Sammy and Mello are both very fat. Sammy is my friend's cat as well. This is my friend's husky. Um, all of my friend's dogs. And then my friend's blind chihuahua. Yep. Um, another OC, because I need more for some reason, even though I have 80,000. Um, he is just a street artist, and I don't know, I just really wanted to draw a mask, and then this kid was born. Um, Keith, as it says, welcome to my new hell. It is my new hell, but I love it. I love Keith. He is my, he's one of my children. And then it was Keith week, and I did anger. Um, the second one I did, but I didn't like it, so I'm not going to show it. Um, day three was red and blood. Um, I didn't color it, but those splats are supposed to be blood. I'm just afraid to color things. Um, for good reason. 
Uh, don't know what this is. That's just me sketching for no reason. Same thing with this. I think I was, yeah, I was in the dark and I was just sketching. Even though I shouldn't do that because it's bad for your eyes. Don't do that. A base or something, I guess. Um, another OC that I never got around to completing. This is when I got into Yuri on Ice and everything I drew was Yuri on Ice for like a month. Um, obviously, this is my child. Uh, I got into drawing him a lot because it really helped with like trying out new poses and trying to be brave with things like that. Um, I could not, this pose, I cannot get, like, oh my god, it pisses me off. But, um, this pose was really fun to draw, and I think is one of my favorite drawings in the sketchbook, just because of this, uh, the simpleness of it. So, um, so this one took me forever to finish, and I did it digitally, and it looks good, um, but yes, I wanted to practice drawing more than one person on a page because I have a problem with that. Um, that's my favorite duo, by the way. Not gonna lie. Still can't draw that pose. I kind of got it, but it's still not. It's still not. Um, I just really love drawing Yuri. My friend doodled in my sketchbook. It, but, but I love it. I love the way she draws. Um, another picture of Yuri with his cat who I have named Alia because no one knows its name. Random ass sketch. Another Yuri. I just really love Yuri and he's really cute. Okay. Okay. It's established. Ugh, I, I don't even remember what that was supposed to be. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, I can't turn the page. Okay. This was from a dream that I had, and it was like the ghost of a dog. Like this girl was dead, and this girl can see. Sp well, she couldn't see spirits. He saw spirits. This was just his sister. Um. I think she could like summon them but he could see them and it was just a really interesting dream drew my cats again I revamped car cat because I realized he's an asshole Nero has always been an asshole and Mellow is the, kind of the stoner type my friend's cats Frankie is a whore Spyro doesn't like to be touched and Jinx is derpy and drools Victor, oh my god, he was so beautiful in that episode and I want to cosplay it. And then I decided to draw a whole set. So I drew one with Yuri and he has lilies. And then I drew the other Yuri with chrysanthemums. Um, I drew this for a friend for Christmas because in Homestuck, the diamond thing is a thing for like more rails and that's the best friends that you trust a lot. And I drew all the things that we cosplay together. Um, this is all the things that I cosplay, and this is what she cosplays. So yeah, it it made me. It was happy. Ha ha. Mermaid stuff. This was a cover for the story I wrote. Um, I did it digitally, and you can see it better. And I don't know. It came out really good in digital, and I'm really proud of it. I drew Haru in the outfit I always cosplay him in. Um, just because I really love the outfit I wear. It was Dave Strider's birthday, and he helped me. He was my gateway into cosplay, so I drew him out of affection. I started drawing something for Tokyo Ghoul and never finished it because I just could not get it correct, so I just left it as is. But I like it the way it is because it seems very Tokyo Ghoulish. I drew my hairstylist because I love her and she does everything correct and I love her and she's just, oh, she's so great. Uh, I'm just drawing something for my friend, um, for Ren and Haru. 
I eventually settled with something else, like a different design. Me and my friend ship her husky and my cat, don't judge. And this is what I eventually drew it down to. I'm not, I have to do it digitally. I started working at Little Caesars, so I drew myself in my uniform. I don't really like my job. I do because I get to eat pizza all the time, but you know. This is the first drawing I did this year, and it's Cole, my sunshine child, and I drew me, that's a tattoo that I want to get, and trigger warning, if you do not like killing and stalking, do not look at the next one, thanks. Um, yes. But yeah that was this sketchbook i will do another sketchbook tour um with the current sketchbook i have which i'm really proud of so far like i changed my art style for some reason and it looks really great so i'm really excited to show you guys when it's finished um i'm not even halfway through the book yet though so it'll probably be ready in like two months so plus i needed some more content but that's it for this video. If you have anything to say, creative criticism, please uh, leave it down in the comments and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching and as always, stay fabulous.